In this video, I'm going to talk about eight common chia mining mistakes. Stay tuned. Not running your chia blockchain app in administrator mode. So always, always, always make sure you run your chia app in the administrator mode. So run as administrator, right click, run as administrator. This is a very simple thing to do. And when it's ran normally, sometimes it will cause issues. I think it's a Windows thing. So that's number one. Two, not updating your Chia blockchain app to the latest version. This is an outdated version right now. As soon as my plotting's finished, I'm going to update this. Three, you can actually import different keys into your current application. I know of people that went on different devices and did plotting. They didn't know they can actually import different keys into their current Chia application. So yes, you can go ahead and import the same key into different machines, but if not, not to worry. You can actually add all those keys into this machine here. So don't worry about that. Four, not knowing that your plot has crashed. So like, look at this plot here. 32%. It's been stuck at 32% for a few hours, let's say. Yeah, but this app, this one actually been stuck 32% for a while. Um, how do you know if your plot has crashed or it's just taking ages to finish? Well, it's quite easy. Click on the three dots, then click on view log. And here, scroll down, and here's your last activity. And this bit, it's been, yeah, yeah, this activity happened like yesterday. So, um, yeah, definitely it's crashed. Uh, nothing else is happening. So we can delete that plot. Or can we? That brings us to number five. Avoid deleting plots from the GUI, from the graphic user interface, from the actual app. So do not click on here, then click on delete. There's a bug in the software that causes the software to crash when you do that. So it just goes in sinking mode and it will never sink. It could take a day or two and it will just go in the sinking mode and you're going to lose everything. So do not do that. You have to always, always delete from the command line. In number six, that's six. Do not cancel your plot through the GUI through the graphic user interface. Do not cancel. For example, this one is plotting here. Do not click delete or cancel because the same thing is going to happen, yeah? So once a plot is plotting, do not delete it. So I guess that's number five. That's the same thing really. So yeah, number six, if you close your Chia blockchain application here, you will lose all pending plottings. So these ones that have finished, they will stay obviously, they're saved on your hard drive, on your external or permanent hard drive, but all the other pending ones will eliminate. So yeah, be prepared. If anything happens and you have a lot of plots plotting at the same time, never close this application. There's no pause feature right now, but Chia is working on that feature. That should come on one of the future releases, but not, not yet. Seven, make sure you adjust all your power settings so your external hard drives don't go to sleep. So another thing you could do as well, you should make sure your computer is never going to sleep and also disable this USB selective suspended setting. So your USB is not gonna suddenly stop working. And also disable the power saving settings for all your external hard drives, very important. Otherwise your external hard drives could stop working they could switch off at some random time during the night or whatever so make sure you go to your power settings get rid of all the power saving mode if you're using external hard drives last but not least number eight when you're doing parallel plots for example you come here and you choose like three in parallel there you go make sure you always add a delay now this delay should cover the first 33%, around 33% of your plot. That is the first phase of the plotting. So what happens is, like, let me go back to the plot here. 
Um, you see this is crashed on the 32% mark because that's within the first phase. The first phase uses a lot, a lot of CPU power and it usually ends around the 33% mark, which then moves to the second phase. After the first phase, apparently even one thread is sufficient. So make sure you schedule your plots in a way that the plot after the first one starts after 33% mark. So this one will start as soon as this one reaches 33% and then the one after that will start after that reaches 33%. So that way you can allocate a lot of CPU to your plots and you can run them in parallel that way. So, so always there's one plot that is in phase one and the other plot is waiting for that phase one to finish and then that plot can go in phase one. Okay, so coming back here again, for example, let me just add a plot. So parallel, let's say you're doing like two in par parallel, three in parallel or whatever. Um, this will depend on your machine. So you have to experiment to see how, how long it takes for, for your plot to reach around 30 to 33%, which is phase one. I found an official old document that said after the phase one, you should only need one thread and uh, the maximum you need is around 4.5 gigabytes uh, I think so 4.5 gigabytes will be the max anything more than that is obsolete I think again correct me if I'm wrong please uh, put a comment below I'm learning guys I'm learning I'm, I'm just sharing the mistakes the things I didn't know when I start plotting Chia and I'm hoping by sharing these things with you you're not going to have the same mistakes and it's going to save you a lot of time hopefully yeah so like here my um my final drive is an external drive i made sure i went and switched off the sleep functions and power saving functions so my drive doesn't go to sleep if you found this video useful please hit that like button and subscribe and all that stuff and if you want a part two comment below um I have a list of around 15 mistakes, but I thought it would be a very long video. So I just did the eight most important ones. If you want a video on syncing issues and how to sort out the syncing problems, then comment below as well. I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to make tons more uh, Chia mining videos. Thank you guys and enjoy Chiaing. Crypto out.